Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. You guys know, I play all the little different aspects of Hearthstone because for me, Hearthstone is just the absolute best top tier variety game. There's so many different modes, there's so many new things that come up, there's so many archetypes of each of the modes that evolve anytime there's new cards introduced, anytime they make like any big changes. So I, I love it all. But there's a specific part of Constructed that I like, that I wanted to just kind of go over with you guys. So, you know, maybe people give it a try if they haven't. Uh, it comes to Constructed. You guys know that, you know, Constructed is basically the biggest game mode of Hearthstone, but it is one that I don't really emphasize as much as most people do. Uh, I do like to play Constructed. I do like to check out new cards, check out new decks, check out, you know, just the end of a season when crazy stuff happens, sometimes the start of a season when uh, things are fairly competitive sometimes. I like to check that out. But uh, in general, there's one type of deck that never really gets me bored. And uh, overall, you know, I do find Constructed a little bit lackluster. Decks don't change too much. There's a lot of the same this and, you know, let's say Secret Paladin. Well, you can play a lot of Secret Paladins these days. And maybe after the next expansion, maybe Face Hunter's back. So you're going to play a lot of Face Hunter. It's like the fairly cheap, super aggressive uh, decks that are really dominating the ladder all the time. But nonetheless, I always have my fun. You know, I try all the decks, I try this and that. Sometimes I'm at like 15-0 with some of the decks and, you know, I just kind of get bored after a while. Um, after even like one loss, sometimes I just never play the deck again. But there's one deck, regardless of how terrible it is, and it is the Mill Slash Fatigue deck. You know, a lot of people ask me what like my favorite card is in Hearthstone, and usually I just think something on top of my head. But after really thinking about it, the absolute favorite card is Cold Light Oracle. This card is amazing. Now, I guess it doesn't really come to my mind too much because in arena it is generally a worthless card but when it's played against you it's really cool sometimes when you play it and you're playing a very aggressive deck it's also very cool it's a murloc that's more and more relevant and more than anything it has to do with um hyper draws and punishing your opponent's draws. I feel like the game could really use cards that draw for both players. I even talked about in a previous video where if a card like Flame Leviathan existed when you draw him, there could be like a trigger effect so both players would draw three cards or something like that just to like randomly punish people who are hoarding way too many cards or to I guess fuel some aggressive decks. Maybe that wouldn't work too well, but I'm sure there's some way of balancing out on like a slower minion that works in a specific type of deck. Regardless, out of all these fatigue decks, some of them don't do so well. I've seen that Mill Rogue has kind of dropped off the, the face quite a lot. Every time I play Mill Rogue, it doesn't really work, but every time I play Mill Rogue, even though I get completely wrecked, you know, I, I, I still have my fun. I still love it just because the the idea of manipulating the board in very strange ways, very unusual ways while trying to punish your opponent from having too many cards is just awesome. There's just no other way to say it. My favorite deck that I play right now, and it's one that I honestly just play one or two games every single time I play Hearthstone just to kick it off because it feels so good. It gets me in the mood to play the game. It is the Fat Warrior deck. I've highlighted this deck in quite a few videos already, but I, I still feel I haven't done it justice. Proportionally, how much I play it, how much I love the deck, you know, it doesn't really show in, in enough YouTube videos. Um, it, it's just so cool. It's so cool to control a game. It's so cool to actually have a deck that is able to play not only awesome cards like Cold Light Oracle and actually get good use out of them. You know, you get cards like Bran, you get cards like Reno, but it's not just that you get Reno. You get Reno in a deck that has multiple copies of cards. So a situational effect actually is situational within the deck. Um, so just so many cool factors that I feel is only possible in very, very few deck archetypes. And I'm so happy that some of them are still actually alive. I have like over 100 games of this deck and it's still sporting like almost 70% win rate. So it's going strong. For those of you that, you know, you're a bit tired of like, you know, facing this, that, you don't want to play Secret Paladin anymore. Maybe from uh, the examples to come, I can show you guys a little bit of hope. So I hope you guys enjoy the clips. Hope you guys kind of like watching what I like doing in Hearthstone. And uh, if you do, well, I guess you'll really love the rest of this video. 
check out the games. I hope you guys maybe gain a bit of appreciation for this somewhat forgotten deck archetype, but it still works, it's still cool, and it's always worth a try. Enjoy the clips, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. There weren't many things that bugged me, but it bugged me that, like, like people talked about... Uh, it's like, oh man, the lottery is so much, it's so good, and it's like, oh, I got, like, lottery tickets for, like, uh, Christmas or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Because... If you just if you just look at the amount you put in in terms of money versus what you get out, on average you'll lose by a lot. <laughs> like if you want to play the lottery, you can find some shitty ass terrible ass stock that's worth absolutely nothing. Put like a dollar in that and your chance that it blows up to like a million is about as good. I never win if I don't play. Yeah. Lottery isn't about winning, it's about the fun of playing. I mean, you could get like a book of crossword puzzles for like a dollar. It has a lot more things in it. It's like fun of playing. Do you have the autopack? That's kind of bad. No juggernaut. Yeah, I don't like juggernaut. Yeah, I don't want, I don't know if I want to shield slam that thing. Well, yeah, shield slam the thing. It's just like Hearthstone, there are no odds, you either win or you don't. Sure. Yeah, and that's that's what's kind of bad about it too, that's right. A lot of people who play the lottery don't have that much money. So for them, it's a considerable size of the money that they have to spend and they buy lottery tickets. I don't know. It's, I don't know. And l let me let me, let me me say this. I, I think playing poker and shit like that is totally okay. Because there's like a strategic component. And the odds are much better than playing the lottery if you're average. <laughs> there is strategy to the lotto. Sure. Just not all that much. I saw like a thing on YouTube many years ago on how... Uh, someone did the, the math and saw that if they bought all the lottery tickets for a lottery, they were favored to actually win back the majority of their money and have some form of profit. It's, it was a little bit of a risk because if other people also win the jackpot, then you're a little bit fucked. But statistically, it was, it was a good idea to buy up every single fucking lottery ticket and bet on every number. And that's really cool. But that basically never happens anymore. Thing is, I have to play out cards because I, I need to empty out my hand in order to mill him and not lose. That was a hoax to get people to buy more tickets. Oh. Well, I believed it. Got me. Man, I really kind of want to use that to clear. He's got eight. I also have eight, which means I'll go to ten. So I need a two mana card. There's some two mana cards, but they're pretty bad. I guess I can mill one. So I mill him three, right? All the map's gone! Oh my god! We just countered Elise. Get fucked. The potential loss is pretty high, but the average loss is fine. So I think we're just gonna... We're gonna drop a card. Hand is too full. Damn, I want him to have I want him to have power word shields in his hand. I'm gonna regret that. Yeah, if I lose Oh nope. That was not regrettable. If we play this, we mill him two cards, but I have no idea how to play that right now. We'd have to play like BGH. Actually, we have to play BGH anyway. I've got the beast in my face. Shield block is a really bad play. Because of Entomb, he gets like extra cards in his deck over me. And that's really bad for me. Yeah, I like David Bowie. Cat People was one of my favorite songs. Welcome to the exhibit. Okay. I can't play Deathlord until I bait out both Cabals, and that might be difficult to do. Or I can play Deathlord on a Brawl, it might be really fun. Tomb again. The damned stand ready. It's 
He's got four cards over me, but he has a ton of cards he can't play, like North Shire and Power Word Shields and shit like that. Am I waiting to mill? Yeah, I'm also considering playing the, the Cold Light uh, after I play Elise in order to for force draw the monkey. That's pretty important. I'm not gonna need this, so it's okay. Just play it now. That's a misplay. He just gave me one armor for nothing. It's also a misplay because it's a card you never want to actually play. Chat complains zoo is too easy and complains control is too slow. Control is, is very slow, but I mean that's the idea. Death Rattle Rogue is okay. Ooh, I can't play it though. Mm, what's he at? He's at 9. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. It gets rid of two cards, and he can't cabal the thing unless he shrink meisters it, which might be pretty crappy. That's okay. Sure. Correct. Sick Deathlord. That was a good Deathlord. I don't want to play Elise until I can force draw the map, because uh, if I play Elise and I have a map or a monkey in the deck, he can thought steal the map and the monkey, and that would probably cause me to lose. Oh, gee, sheep. Brawl champion. Yeah, I think we're going to win this game. It's not certain, but it's looking very likely. I left the sheep up because his guy is going to die regardless. He needs to play a power word shield, heal it excessively, or play a Velens. And in every case, I'm pretty happy. Welcome to the grand tournament, champion. Okay, I'm not so happy about that. How can he win when he when I have 72 health? The amount of health doesn't matter if he builds a board that I can't clear. Looks like that's not the case though. We're almost there. We have to play at least with one card left in the deck. Welcome to the uh, doesn't really work very well. Fine. Still a better chance of winning the lottery than you getting a girlfriend. I believe if you win a billion dollars in the lottery, a girlfriend comes with the prize. There is hope. Feels good, man. Okay, he wants to not mill, so he's suiciding in Northshire. And I can mill him one card. That's perfect. So we at least. And then a cold light. Oh, there goes light bomb. That's good. Let's just maximize armor up. I definitely don't want to uh, kill off a Gore Hal, so we have to at least play a Gore Hal. 81 HP? Yeah, I played it. Did I play it turn 5? I think I may have played it turn 5. Uh, 
whatchamacallit, just the car. Okay. Why are all of my decks mill? Well, I play a lot of Arena, and I don't consider playing Face Hunter or Secret Paladin actually playing the game. So, when I play ranked, I want to have a different experience than what I play in Arena. So usually I play, like, mill, fatigue, or a deck with a lot of legendaries. Alright. Oh, I knew I recognized the, the name. Apparently it's Apocalypse's original name. Whoa. I'm still a nerd deep inside, basically. Good morning in Arabic. It's also Apocalypse from the X-Men. Okay. It's a pretty big deal. Pretty big. What is it? Arabic? I've always said Arabic. I'm just gonna go with how I say things. No big deal. He's at 10. Oh, Reno Jackson. Uh, did you did you make that deck with with that card in mind, perhaps? Oh, that. Ah, oh, man, that sucks, bro. I'm sorry about that. Do you have the artifact? My hand is too full. My shield for Argus. Hmm. All right. Okay, brawl it up. No, it's not good enough to brawl. I mean, I I neutralize the board with one execute. Okay, I'm brawling. What do I need to activate Reno? Cruel Task again, Shield Slam, and Big Game. Oh, that's bad. I still probably lose to like Jaraxxus, but we'll see. Wow. Sucks. He's got nine again. Probably should just do it. My oh my god! Are you kidding me? That is the greatest, greatest fucking game ever. Reno Jackson and Jaraxxus. Get the fuck out of here. OTK Warrior deck? Yeah. He's gonna concede right now. Killed him in one turn. Yes. Go for the greedy attack. Play some more shit, bro. Let's see it. 
Yeah, that's actually kind of annoying. Oh, I could just brawl. <laughs> no, I don't want to brawl though. Oh, I'm gonna just shield slam. That's pretty good actually. It's another card drawn. Doesn't have many left. I've got the beast in my Sure. All right, Reno is active. I don't believe uh, you run two of any card when you play Reno Lock, so I don't think he can. Sil I don't think he has anything to deal with this. <laughs> I've got the beast in my side. Just execute? Well, no, I have another BGH in the deck, and we don't have that many cards left, so I think it's it's better to use a BGH when you have an opportunity. I'm a little bit low here, but I don't know how this deck could possibly do 12. Cut a cruel task for an abusive. Well, abusive activates execute, but that's a reasonable suggestion. What's up? Let's just start ramping up the damage. Well played. You win this time. Easy peasy. What's the big deal? Like it's like the this this the same the same reason why people hate um wolves. They eat the sheep. People with sheep don't like wolves. I think it's actually very hypocritical to say it's like, oh my god, why did they kill the dolphins? They didn't even do anything! Unlike the chicken that we ate, that, that committed mass murder, you know. Mm -hmm. Wolves are cool. You like wolves and you're a sheep lord? I don't know what a sheep lord is, but yeah, okay. Dolphins are actually smart. Not smart enough, apparently. Yeah, if dolphins are so smart, why do they live in igloos? Did you think about that? Change my card back. Nah, dude. Christmas spirit for life. I like this card back. Mogor Ice Hell deck. Hmm. If we get a get and we win the game on the spot. Boy, do we ever. Sure. Do I feel that my emotes get enough use? I don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys like them. We got a we got a new emote coming. If you're a follower on Twitter, you might suspect which one that might be. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, champion. 
tempo coin. Well, that coin was strictly bad, but um, that's fine. If we didn't coin, we would have got two more armor because we would have coined now to get four. I might be close to dead here. It might be like Doomhammer Rockbiter. Yeah, there is a rock fighter there. Why use one of the totems? Because he might have like a bloodlust or something. Maybe a flame tongue. Why armor up instead of shield block? Because I want more HP overall. Yeah, Bren's quite good. Seriously? Holy crap, that's desperate. Get in there and fight, maggot! Wow, that's like all in. That's like basically I concede. takes forever to get golden portraits for me because I only play uh, shitty control decks that are very slow. I'm actually not even close for uh, for warrior. Not even close. <laughs> you could fucking lose. Let's do it. It's too good. Let's see how bad this gets. <laughs> Double map? We don't need maps to beat this scrub. GG, you lost. How do I lose though? GG. How do I lose with 21? Oh, I... No. no I, there's there's no way. There's, there's nothing. Well, he's already used the rock biter. Yeah, do him a rock biter is 10, but that's 6 mana. So with 4 mana, how you do how do you do 11 more? That's a mistake. I can take the hit. Strike. We we could literally mill a face shaman to death. <laughs> this is so satisfying. Oh no, he's gonna heal. Oh god, what are we gonna do? Still have lethal. Let's let's just let him off the hook. You're off the hook, bro. Yes, yes, 
Alright, let's see what you got. This is like super, super BM right now. <laughs> Make him suffer. Yeah! Oh yeah, draw those cards. <laughs> Dude, can't even tote him. The best part is, like if you look at our deck, it's completely fucking crazy. Shield main, Reno Jackson, and map to Golden Monkey. Those are some loaded four cards. You gotta savor it, bros. You gotta savor it. It's a bot. Oh. Damn it. I was having so much fun. It's a bot, then he can't concede, which means we have a one in two chance to golden monkey. Damn, bots are pretty advanced these days. They're like faking us out. Look at that. He does the, the rock biter fake out. Respond. No emotes. Heal. Perfect timing. Wow, that's crazy. It's a butt. It's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. 